Hello and welcome to the calculator guide video on coding data and finding the mean using spreadsheet. We have a set of data values here, which at first we're going to code using the coding y equals x minus 4 all over 9. Then we're going to calculate the mean of the coded data set and then finally use the mean of that coded data set to find the mean of the original data. Now we're going to use spreadsheet mode to help us out with this. So it's menu and then eight for spreadsheet. Now the first task is to input the data values that we are given. Now we're going to work in columns because it's much quicker to input the data into columns. So input the given data into column A. Each time you input a value, just press equals and it will automatically scroll down to the next row. Once you've inputted the last piece of data, which is 40, what you want to do is to navigate back up to the top, this time of the second column, column B, where we're going to input the coded version of the data. Now we're going to use a formula here to input the coded versions of the data. So we need to press option and then one for fill formula. And on the top line here, after the equals, we need to input our formula. Now remember, that the input here is in line format. So if I have a fraction, I tend to put the top of the fraction in brackets just to make sure that the calculator recognizes to do any additions or subtractions before then doing the divide by the denominator. So in brackets, I'm going to write the top line here. Now I'm not going to write X in. What I'm going to do is to reference the first value of column A there. So cell A1 which is the start of the data that we inputted in there. So instead of X or whatever letter you're using, input the first cell of your initial data set. So it's A1 minus four. I'm going to close my brackets and then either divide or you can press the fraction button and then that's all over nine. Press equals and then we have to input the range. Now we have eight sets of values here. So I'm just going to navigate right to input the formula, not just in cell B1, but all the way down to cell B8, which means it will then apply the formula to all eight values that we have in our data set. So once you done press equals and then equals a second time to confirm. And here we have the list in column B of our coded data. And in, if necessary, we could write these down in the list just to show what the values would be once they've been processed through the code. Now the second part of this, we need to calculate the mean of the coded data. So if you scroll down to the cell underneath the last value in your coded data, what we're going to do is we're going to input the mean into this cell. Now that is an option from the option menu. So if you press option and continue to scroll down until you get to this menu, you can see option three there is mean, so press three. A set of brackets will be opened. Now we need to input the range of the values that we want to take the mean of. So remember that's cell B1 to cell B8. So it's alpha and then B1. Way to express the first and last cell is you need to put a colon in between. That's alpha and this button over here, what would be the definite integral button. You can see there's a little colon at the top. So it's alpha and then colon, and then the last cell that we want to include which is cell B8. Press equals and here we have the mean of the coded data, 10.125. And that's answered part B of our question there. Now the last part of the question, we need to calculate the mean of the original data. Now we're going to do this in two ways. Firstly, I'm going to do what the question uh, says, which is to use the answer from part B at 10.125 to find the mean of the original data. And then we're going to use what we've just done there, use the mean function from the class with spreadsheet to find the mean of the original data. And they should be identical, they should match each other. So in order to use the coded mean value, what I need to do is to basically inverse the code. So do the inverse of the code. The coding had us subtract four from our value and then divide by nine. So we're going to have to do the inverse of that, which is multiply by nine and then add four onto our value. Now underneath the spreadsheet here is basically a single line working space. It's a little bit like the line on line mode when you're operating in the calculate mode. And I'm just going to use this to do what I've just said there. So multiply our coded mean by nine. So that's nine times, well it's cell B9 that's got the location of our coded mean. And then I'm going to add four to that. 
Now be careful here, you may wish to employ brackets depending on if you needed to add or subtract first, uh, but we wanted to multiply first, so that's fine. Order of operations should sort that out for us. And if we press equals here, then here we have the mean of the original data set, 95.125. Now what I'm going to do is to check that by using the mean feature from the spreadsheet mode, but this time in column A with our original data set. So I'll navigate to cell A9, and then it's option, and navigate down. We want to navigate all the way down to this menu. We want option three for mean, and then we just want to put the range of values that we want to express the mean for. So it's A1 colon A8, so those eight values and close brackets. Press equals, and here we have our mean again, 95.125. So we can see that they match, so it's a quick check that we use the correct method of being able to take the mean of our coded data and find out what the mean of our original data is because it matches what the class was worked out using the mean function. So there we go, how we can code a set of data and find the mean using spreadsheet mode on the Casio ClassWiz. But that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time on the Calculator Guide.